When I was 18, I decided to study photography. I was really attracted to images and what an image could tell. I think the first big project that I was really happy about was uh, my project I did in Russia. For the first time there, I felt comfortable with the medium. Often the people I meet in the street, they invite me or I invite myself into their homes. And it started in a very documentary way, try to capture the intimacy in the family. I think I'm very fascinated by silence. We are here in my temporary studio in Ghent. It's an empty house right now and it's waiting to be rebuilt. I use the living room for a project that is called Michael. I use this room for Agatha to edit a book. And here I feel like everything is possible. Probably this house is an extension of uh, what's happening in my mind. I often create my own stories and atmosphere in my mind. And at night I can use other people to tell these stories. And I see different things at night. This is when people are becoming more their real self. For me, it's very interesting that the Huawei has a low light function, so I'm able to shoot in the dark. And being able to shoot in RAW, which is not always possible with a phone. I often do many projects at the same time and it's quite chaotic. What I'm doing here with Ramon is making a book, actually a few books, of my work I'm doing with Agatha. It's like a long journey we are undertaken, and I want to make some books so the audience can also follow what we're doing. Let's see. But if it's this, maybe... For me, the medium of a book is important. It's like a one-on-one -on -one relationship the viewer has with the photos. People sometimes recognize themselves in my work, especially with Agatha. The doubts she has about life and the search she's undertaken. It can be this kind of thing. It's great working yeah. with Ramon because he's a um, very good graphic designer, and I mean, it's really important to have this outside view. Yeah, I think. For me, it's important to take like pictures in between of the process, and of course, also as a memory of uh, what we're doing here. Sometimes it's good to share, otherwise you're never able to take distance of your work. The pictures I'm taking now, it's an ongoing project I'm doing. We look for her and for myself through my photos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This one, this one. I think it's important if you take a picture with a phone or with camera. It's important to tell small stories that are close to you. A lot of my work is about how to stand on an equal line with the people you take pictures of. I can say it's about the people, but it's probably a lot about myself as well. I'm Bika de Porter, I'm a Magnum photographer. I'm looking forward to see your entry for the Huawei Next Image Awards 2019.